Acknowledge version 4.3 has a wide variety of new user interface enhancements. Some of the new user interface features include a tapped graph interface, a textual value toolbar, selection palette button and enhancements, window size preference, number of horizontal measurements configuration, removing text annotations from a single channel, a journal doc menu location option, linked selections, you can pin dialog windows to the front of the graph, auto scale a single waveform, and there are new presets for rate, expression, and measurements which you can see in a separate video. When we open up multiple graph files in Technology version 4.3, we can open them with a tabbed interface. If you see at the top of our window, we can have multiple tabs containing different graph files, and you can easily click through the tabs for each file. You can also switch through the open tabbed windows by using the keyboard shortcut Control Tab. When you hit Control Tab, it will take you through to the next available tab. If you prefer not to use the tab display, you can go to the Window menu and select Move Tab to New Window, and that will pull your selected file out of the tab display. You can also just right click on a tab and select Move Tab to New Window to pull a tab out of the tab display. You can also go to the Preferences menu and select Graph to choose if Acknowledge will default to the tab display or window display. You can then click OK and the next time you open Acknowledge you'll either have the tabbed or the window display. At the top of our window you'll see the measurement bars going across here. What's new in Acknowledge is that you can actually configure the number of boxes going across from left to right on your display and you can save that as a preset. If we go to the Preferences menu and we go under the Measurements, you can see we can have any number of measurement rows and measurement columns. We could change this to two rows of three and click OK. And you'll see our display has updated now to have two rows with three boxes going across. You can create presets for the measurement configurations that you would use most frequently, such as a single row of five, a single row of three, or the one we had just configured, the dual row of three. Another new feature is the capability to choose a custom size for your Acknowledge Graph windows. To do this, you go to the Display menu, select Size Window. You can then enter a custom amount of pixels for the width and the height. And you can choose to use this as the default for new windows. And then click on OK, and you'll see that our window has resized. A tool that's useful for marking selections on the graph is the Selection Palette. To access the Selection Palette, we can go to its new button here on the toolbar. And when we click it, the Selection Palette will open and we can manually enter or highlight our selection range. I'm going to enter from 5 seconds to 15 seconds on our graph. Now you'll see that it's highlighted my selection. From here, can click the drop down menu and mark the selection, which will insert markers at the beginning and the end of the selection, or we can create a focus area. If we click on create a focus area, we can then type in the name for it and click OK, and it will create the focus area for our selection. For more information on focus areas, you can see our focus area screencast. When working with text annotations in a graph file, previously to remove them, you'd have to do it one at a time by highlighting and deleting each one. Or you had to remove all text annotations from the entire graph. In Acknowledge 4.3, you can instead remove annotations from a selected channel. To do this, you click and hold on the annotation icon, and then you can select to clear them for the selected channel or the whole graph. Now we've removed all of the text annotations from the respiration signal. We can do the same 
for the ECG. Click and hold down and select Clear Annotations for Selected Channel and click on Yes. Also new in Acknowledge 4.3 is the Textual Values Toolbar. You'll see this toolbar here above our waveforms on the display. It's currently showing the heart rate and respiration rate for our data and being updated approximately once per second. You'll also notice that the heart rate and respiration rate values are also overlaid on our graph. To configure which channels show up on the textual value display, you click on the channel's vertical axis. This will bring up a dialog box where you can either enable or disable the textual value display. You can also choose to show the values on the top or bottom of the waveform. If we click on Settings, we can then choose the font, size, and color for the textual value display. We can change the font, size, and color, and when we click OK, you'll now see we have this value down here at the bottom of the waveform, this one's still at the top, and we have a smaller blue font instead of the larger red font. To configure the actual toolbar, you right-click and click on Value Toolbar Preferences. Here you can choose the number of columns and whether you show the channel number, channel label, and units for the channels you've enabled. You can also move the toolbar by clicking and holding down and then dragging it to another location on your display. A new journal feature in Acknowledge 4.3 is a Display Preferences option where you can select where to default dock your journal. To choose the location, we go up to the Display menu, select Preferences, go to the Journal option, and here you'll see the Display Style box where you can choose to dock your journal at any edge of the graph, default to dock at the bottom of the graph, or to be a floating window independent of the graph. If we choose Dockable on any edge and click OK, we can then grab our journal and move it to another location or right click, scroll down to docking edge and choose top, bottom, left or right. If you choose the default for docking at the bottom, your journal will always appear down here at the bottom of the graph when you enable the journal. If you choose the floating window, which I'll do now, the journal will become an independent window that can be moved around, maximized, and minimized. The new Link Selection feature in Acknowledge allows you to link the selections between data views. To enable the link selection, go to the iBeam cursor, hold down the drop-down, and select Link Selections Between Data Views you'll see you now have a little chain link or lock on the background of your icon. Now what we can do, for example, is go into our data view, which in this case is a more zoomed in version of our graph, and highlight an area of interest. As you can see, we've highlighted it here on the right side, and it's also highlighted that same segment of data on our left side. This way, when you're highlighting in one data view, you can see where you are in the other data view. Previously in Acknowledge, when you brought a dialog window up, such as the Show Input Values, it would come up as a separate window, but if you were to click again to make the graph window active, your Input Values window would disappear to the back. Now in Acknowledge 4.3, what you can do is go into the Preferences menu, select Window, and now you have options to always keep windows on top. So we can check this for input values, manual control, and stimulator control. Also for Windows operating systems, you can choose this for the media window and playback window. You can then click on OK, and you'll see it has brought our input values window to the front. So now you can see even when our graph is active, for example, we're taking measurements or making selections, our input values window does not disappear to the back, it is held at the front of the graph. Another new feature in Acknowledge is the ability to autoscale a single waveform. As you can see in this example, 
all of our waveforms are correctly scaled except for our alpha EEG. Instead of rescaling the whole graph, we can simply right click on the waveform and select Auto Scale Single Waveform to bring this one back into range. You can watch additional Acknowledge software tutorials on the Biopack website at www.biopack.com slash videos.asp. You can also contact us at info at biopack.com or 805-685-0066 for more information.